Now, Darren Ravel tweeted about this. There was an auction on Thursday. An unopened case of 1986-87 Fleer basketball cards sold at the auction for $1.8 million, according to Darren Ravel. The case contains 12 boxes of 36 packs each, could contain upwards of 40 Michael Jordan rookie cards. Now, this is, now it's also got rookie cards for Carl Malone, Hakeem Olajuwon, Charles Barkley, Clyde Drexler, and Patrick Ewing. It says, how rare are these cases? The guys who track these things are shocked to see this case in existence. The last time I knew of a sealed 86-87 Fleer case hitting the market was in the late 1990s. I haven't handled a sealed case since the late 80s, and I didn't think one still existed. Steve Hart, owner of Baseball Card Exchange, told Sports Collector Daily. All of that stuff that's in there. Now, it, here's the crazy thing to me. It, it's not a box set. It is, it, it, it's a case. Yeah. So it's packs of cards. So you don't actually know what's in it. But you would expect, with that many different cards, that you're going to get those rookie cards for Malone, Elijah Wan, Barkley, Drexler, Ewing, and then Michael Jordan. It said it could contain upwards of 40 Michael Jordan rookie cards. Now, I could not imagine having the money to pay $1.8 million for a box of cards. Like, I, I, I used to collect baseball cards, basketball cards, whatever. But I guess the older I've gotten, the less into expensive memorabilia I have gotten. Is yeah. there anything on the planet that you could ever see yourself paying that large of a sum of money for if, if you had the money? Not, not for memorabilia wise, no. It, it, but I just don't. I don't collect stuff though. I, 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 I would pay for experiences, but I would never pay for 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 stuff. I think that's. I think that's where I'm at. Like I would rather pay. But for that's that's, Disney that's World what I've and, become over time yeah. and over life is just just I, I I realize that doing things, experiencing life, it's an important thing that we just don't do enough of, and we do a whole lot of just buying shit. Yeah, it, now and I'm this, out of the buying shit business. Is this? Would you consider this? I guess an investment. Yeah, I mean, the only reason that you would buy it is to possibly try to either flip it or, you know, profit from it. But the, the it's just a gamble. You open it could be forty Jordan cards, really. Well, somebody could do the math on how many Jordan cards were ever made, okay, and then how many have ever seen the market. Yeah, and then we can kind of work backwards from there. And if you think, well, there's 40 left, and this is the only box, the chances of 40 Jordan cards in one box, I think, is is a little ridiculous. Um, you know, that's that. But even if there's, let's say, there's three Jordan rookie cards and one of each of all the rest of the guys, what's that add up to? Is that two million dollars? I doubt because it. we definitely know in the card business that. It's the ones that are worth $100,000 or $10,000 or $5,000 or maybe even a million dollars, and then the rest of them are kindling. Yeah. No, that's uh, Terry jumps in. He said, I bet you get one rookie card and a bunch of shit. Yes. <laughs> now, that <laughs> one rookie card, it if it's worth $2 million, then great. Yeah. It was a decent buy. You know, if it's not, then you just pissed away a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, Terry said, that's insane. You get the same cards over and over again, and it's never the good ones. Then he said, hey, you're wearing expensive memorabilia. That hat was $40. Yeah, Ryan Sandberg. That's, uh, I'm with you. I'm with you. Uh, Michael jumped in on Twitch. He said, cards have gotten expensive like everything else. Plus, I would be the guy that buys it and doesn't get one Michael Jordan rookie card. Um, and then the Brown Yeti said, I think you can tank for that much. And then Matt said, those cards could go up in value and make that money back. And then Terry jumps in on Matt's thing. He said, not unless he gets them all signed. Like, that's Just, his thing. Listen, just buy gold and silver with your money. Yes. If you got $2 million, don't buy something with somebody's picture on it. Hey, just to... gold stocks are going through the roof right now. I am making a fortune in the stock market right now. Because I, I bought a, a bunch of gold and silver for pennies back you know, back when the, the pandemic hit. But you're talking and stocks, right? Not real I'm, physical gold? I, I'm talking stocks at this point. No, I'm not okay, talking no, real I buy, I buy physical. No, that makes sense. I have a big safe. Shh, don't be telling nobody about this, man. They can't come get it. <laughs> they they got to fight you for it, right? Good well, lord. It, let's say there's a dead body here. They still got to get it out. Yeah, you you can't get into that. And safe. safe's like moving a car 
with no wheels. If Brown Yeti said, or firearms, they never go down. So gold or firearms? Oh, one of the no, other. yeah, yeah. Just inv- <laughs> invest in ammo and 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 gold and silver. You got that right. Uh, yeah, Terry said, "Yep, gold and silver are nuts right now." Um, let's see. Boy, making some cheese on that. Yeah, you got that right. You got that right. All right, let's dive into this topic. You wanted to talk about 